Bros back with another one today and we have RX Labs Black Series Oxy pre-workout a DMAA special so let's see um, if it lives up to that name shall we so we're going to be covering the usual taste price label and effects so stay tuned and if you're new here you know what to do hit the subscribe button tick the bell icon like the video drop your comments down below all that good stuff let's go Okay, so first up, taste, nice and easy, comes in the one flavour, Tiger's Blood. I'll put up a little clip here of me drinking it just so you can sort of see uh, how it mixes, taste my impressions. But yeah, pretty run-of-the-mill Tiger's Blood flavour, there's no real complaints there. Quite weak tasting because it's only a small scoop size. Mixability wasn't the best, it was a bit of a bit of gravelly bits and pieces at the bottom, but you know, I've seen worse. But give it a bit of a stir and neck it, it's no real problem. I'll probably give it... 7 out of 10, you know, it wasn't offensive tasting, it just wasn't fantastic either, it was just okay. You know, it was, it was reasonably pleasant, 7 out of 10 on taste. So to get hold of this pre-workout, you go to getthatpower.eu, where we have a 5% discount code, RB5%, that knocks this 30 servings tub down to £32.30, or only £1.07 per serving. That actually comes to a 7 out of 10 on our price scale. So do you know what? Not a bad price product, but we're going to be seeing what sort of effects you get for that price. So for US guys, for a translation, that would work out as $41.76 or $1.39 per serving. So there's your translation. Let's get into that label. Right, label time. It's a 10 gram serving. Two scoops gets you to 10 grams. The active ingredients is just over six and a half grams. So obviously the other three and a half is just flavorings and all the fillers and whatnot. So in the proprietary blend, yes, it is a prop blend, unfortunately, guys. So we do not know the exact dosages of every ingredient. So, you know, we're not a fan of that. I'll get that out of the way right off the bat, but we'll work with what we got. So first up is beta aniline. So we would assume that's the highest dosed ingredient in this blend. Obviously with that blend only being six and a half grams, we probably would assume that there's gonna be some degree of underdosing. So beta aniline, as you guys know, it's the amino acid responsible for boosting your endurance by buffering lactic acid but does also give you those itchy tingly sensations which we all love then we've got citrulline pure citrulline in there obviously that's the amino acid that boosts nitric oxide levels in the bloodstream leading to increased blood flow and pumps then we've got n-acetyl tyrosine which is the amino acid boosting cognitive function you know concentration memory coordination all that good stuff then we've got choline vitartrate it's going to do a similar thing to the tyrosine but by different pathways not the best form of choline but you know we'll take it anyway then we've got caffeine and hydrus spelt incorrectly on the top <laughs> but um, that's your main stimulant in any pre-workout it's going to give you a kick up the bum and get you moving obviously we don't know how much is in here so that's a bit of a pain then we've got nn dimethylglycine that just simply boosts energy levels and your immune system uh, then we move on to the ingredient that you're all interested in and probably why you're even watching this review and that's one free dmaa obviously that's the illicit ingredient that's banned nowadays super potent you know uh, relatable to amphetamines it's going to get you woke get you in the zone and definitely you will feel it moving on we've got soul beauty mean which i'll be honest i've probably butchered that but we've not seen that ingredient before at least not to my knowledge um, but that just simply boosts athletic performance and strength that's what that's known for so we'll have to see if that has much effect in this finishing off we've got nicotinic acid which is basically just niacin it's a b vitamin uh, just general health but it also does work in conjunction with the beta aniline to increase that sort of flushing feeling you know the redness of the skin the itching and all that stuff so we'll have to see how it all comes together no digestion aid probably not needed because it is only a small serving size anyway but let's see let's see how it comes together Okay, so effects of Oxy pre-workout black series. So the tub will have you believe, you know, and the label will have you believe that this is going to hit you like a train. It's going to knock your head off, you know, you're going to be on cloud nine. Was that the case? No, surprisingly. It was actually a completely different experience to what I was expecting. Relatively unique experience as well, I would, I would say. There's a couple of bits in here that we don't often see in the label. Um, so that might be part of the reason why it felt different to any other pre-workout I've taken. But for me, the beta aniline, it kicked in reasonable, I would say 4 out of 10 on the beta scale, 10 being itching your eyes out and 1 being barely feeling it. So, you know, reasonable. After that, you get the, the energy rush, there's no denying that. For me, the strong point of this pre-workout was that absolute tunnel vision focus. You know, it's almost like 
literally you've got the blinders on mega focus town i wouldn't say it's a happy pre-workout i would say it's almost it's borderlining down the angry route you know you're just super dialed in like just want to get stuff done people get out my way super productive get shit done pre-workout um steady energy you know i didn't feel jittery shaky or sick or anything like that i just felt super channeled into my workout um, the pumps, you know, all you've got in here is citrulline, so, you know, you're not going to be writing home about pumps by any means at all with this pre-workout. However, what I will say, because the focus element is such the standout feature of this product, that almost does kind of play into the pumps in the sense of the mind-muscle connection and training hard. So, if I was to rate the actual pumps on this pre-workout alone, I would say they're below average, but taking everything else into account, I would say that the pumps end up average or maybe just above in terms of real world effects once you're training so there's no real negative as I, as I mentioned you know none of the jitters shakes gribbles no appetite suppression um, no crash surprisingly you know it lasted a good few hours and then come down slowly and left your system but it definitely didn't leave you feeling crashy which is always surprising on this kind on these kind of labels um, so yeah if I was to rate it, I would say focus energy pumps Overall, I'm going to go with a 7.5 out of 10 for this pre-workout. It definitely didn't hit as hard as I was expecting. You know, I've used it a few times and it's performed the same every time. So at least it's consistent in that sense. But I'd say this is for people who don't mind proprietary blends, don't mind illicit ingredients, but value that sort of in the zone tunnel vision. Don't listen to anything else going on around you sort of focus. That really does um, describe how this pre-workout makes you feel. So focus is very much a strong factor of this. So who is this for? Quite obviously, it's not for beginners, you know, steer clear, don't even look at it. Um, intermediates, you know, if you want to start dabbling with these more illicit um, sort of pre-workouts, then go for it. You know, it's not a bad one. The money is, the value for money is reasonable. It's not ripping you off. Seven out of ten on the price scale for the effects is justifiable, I think, in my opinion, if you do value the effects that I've described for this product. Um, stim junkies interestingly not necessarily you know i wouldn't say that it puts you in stim junkie land it's a productive high stim pre-workout you know it makes you just like i keep mentioning it puts you in the zone for hardcore training um for not for not being distracted easily and it's one of those ones where you, you're enjoying listening to music and you know you're jamming whilst you're training you're enjoying it so i think that pretty much covers this pre-workout guys so if you like the sound of it definitely check it out beginner steer clear that's all I can say. So final verdict. So first up, we had the taste. We gave that a 7 out of 10. Come in one flavour. It would be ideal if there were more flavours, but you know what? Tiger's blood is never a bad one. So doable taste, no problems there. Moving on to price, that also got a 7 out of 10 on our price scale. Decently priced pre-workout as pre-workouts go these days. But then again, you've got to remember, you're not getting too much in the label. So is it fantastic value for money against the label? Probably not. But then again, if you weigh it up against the effects, probably is. So, you know, justify that to yourself however you will. But 7 out of 10 on our price scale. Moving on to the effects segment, we gave a 7.5 out of 10. It wasn't as powerful or as illicit as the label may have you believe. But it did certainly put you in a nice zone to train. Um, and overall, I enjoyed using this pre-workout. So it's not a bad product by any stretch of the imagination in terms of real world effects. That actually gives us a 21.5 out of 30 overall score. You know, scoring relatively well across the board on all segments, not dropping severely anywhere. So overall, not bad. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, your thoughts on this pre-workout. What's your thoughts on proprietary blends in general and, and uh, DMAA products? You know, let's get a bit of a discussion going. It's always an interesting topic to cover. Other than that, guys, as always, stay stimmed.